Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem based on the concepts of vector addition. So as per the problem, two vectors A and B have a common starting point with an angle of 120 degrees between them. The vectors are such that the magnitude of vector A is equal to 3 and the magnitude of vector B is equal to 4. And in part A, we have to calculate the magnitude of A plus B. So let's start with part A. So the first step is to draw a diagram for the vectors A and B. So we are given that the two vectors have a common starting point and an angle of 120 degrees between them. Now 120 degree is an obtuse angle, so we have to draw the diagram according to that. So this can be vector A and vector B will be slightly longer than vector A because its magnitude is more than that of vector A. So this is vector B and the angle between them is 120 degrees. Now we have to find the magnitude of A plus B and we can draw vector A plus B using the parallelogram method. So we'll draw a vector parallel to vector B in the tip to tail form. So this is vector B. And this is vector A. So vector A plus B is the diagonal of this parallelogram. So we can label the corners. So vector A plus B is the diagonal AC. So we can label this as vector A plus B. So the magnitude of vector A plus B is the length of this diagonal from A to C. Now, since this is a parallelogram, we know that in a parallelogram, adjacent angles are supplementary angles. That means the measure of angle B is 60 degrees. Because 120 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So that's the measure of supplementary angles. Now we can analyze triangle ABC to find the length of side AC, which will be the magnitude of A plus B. Now we are given that the magnitude of vector A is three. That means the length of side AB is three units and the length of side BC is four units. So now we can use the cosine law equation to find the length of side AC because we know the length of two other sides in this triangle and the included angle, which is 60 degrees. So our cosine law equation will be the length of side AC, which is equal to the magnitude of A plus B, So this is the equation we get from cosine law. Now we can sub in the values for magnitude of A and B.
Now we can evaluate the terms. Now 2 times 3 times 4 times cos 60 is equal to 12 because cos of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. Now we can combine these terms. So I got 13 and now we can apply square root to both sides. We cannot simplify square root of 13. So this should be the magnitude of vector A plus B. So this should be the final answer for part A. Now we can analyze part B. Calculate the angle between vector A and vector A plus B. So we have to find this red angle, theta. Now for this red angle theta, we know the length of its opposite side, which is the vector b and we know the 60 degree angle in this triangle abc and we also know the length of side ac which is square root of 13. So we can use sine law to find the value of angle theta. So our equation will be so the Vector B is opposite to angle theta, so that's why we're using the magnitude of vector B as the side for sine theta. Now we can sub in the values. So in this triangle, the side opposite to the 60 degree angle is the vector A plus B and its magnitude is square root of 13. So that's why we are using this value for uh, the sine 60 ratio. Now we can cross multiply the four. Now we can evaluate this expression. So I got zero point nine six zero seven seven. Now we can do the inverse of sine. Now we can evaluate this inverse of sine. So I got 73.9 degrees. So I rounded the answer to one decimal place and this is almost equal to 74 degrees. So this is the angle between vector A and vector A plus B. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.